Well, the 2012 London Olympics kick off on Friday, and what would make the event even more fun than an opening ceremonies party? I gotta tell you, I love me my parties. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yes, I do. And so we thought it would be great to come up with some fun ideas for you to be able to host some parties. Anything from invite the whole neighborhood to have you know a little party at home with your family. So it can be a lot of different things. You can start off with theme. We need to theme Team USA. That, okay. would, that would work, yeah. since we are in the USA. That's right. <laughs> Pull out your 4th of July decorations. You can have all kinds of red, white, and blue out there. So recycle the decorations from 4th of July. 4th of July from Perfect. Libby's house. Yes. Nice. You know, okay. and as far as food, if you're going to do like a big affair for a whole bunch of people, have a good old American barbecue. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We love to barbecue around That's here. right. Hamburgers. Hot dogs, apple pie. Doesn't get more Very American good. than that. Now, another fun way that you can have a good theme for the party is to have the theme of the hosting country. And you can have yourself a tea party. Not as good for a okay. big group. <laughs> but it's especially fun if you have little girls in your family. And they apparently, love tea parties. The English drink their tea a little bit differently than what we do ho over here in the colonies. Yes. They put a little a lot more cream into it. Mm -hmm. And so I've never put half and half into my tea before. Delicious. <laughs> if you've never tried it, you can make little sandwiches, cookies, all kinds of fun stuff. If you're not a tea drinker, that's fine. Kool-Aid soda works just as well. Any and liquid you can fun. put in the pot. That's right. <laughs> now, there's also, you can do a Greek theme. Everybody don a sheet and ah. bring a little laurel wreath and you can do um, something like that, which is a lot of fun too. Okay. Now, you have to have some games. Right. Okay. Activities for everybody, especially the kids. <gasps> Noodle Noodles. fight. Well, that's how my kids use it at home. But you know what? They'd also be a great javelin throw. Okay. So, so you can throwing see, the javelin yeah. around? Oh, nice. How far whoever goes the furthest Look, I wins. Won. Awesome. <laughs> you can do all kinds of races and fun things like that. Another fun thing to do in the opening ceremonies uh -huh. when they parade in, you can do a little educational geography lesson. Okay. And you can have, you know, fun contests to see who can find the country that's coming in. The oh, fastest. wow. That's so, Fun times. There's lots you can yeah. do. Now, coming up tomorrow, mm -hmm. we're going to show you some crafts that you can do if you are planning on hosting your own Olympic ceremony party. And you can do that coming up next on more. We'll take a look at some of your answers for our question of the day.